Okay, so we were talking about the challenges and uh, the prospects of strategic human resources development. So that would be, again, we were on uh, this particular point, we were talking about refining employee life cycle. Next is again, enabling organizational learning. There was a person, Peter Senge, who opines that a learning organization must clinch the following five principles in an organization. One is systems thinking, person mastery, mental models, building shared vision and team learning. So they, uh, you know, normally, uh, you know, enabling organizational learning, again, is one of the challenges. So of course, changes in the business environment are inevitable. That is, I mean, it has to happen. Thereby, HRD processes must pose as a dynamic instrument to strategically adopt the relevant changes and appropriate them structurally for the benefit of the organization. So thereby today we have completed, because the last two chapters are small chapters, and um, it is just that you should just know what, what it is about. So I've just tried to you know, give you uh, what is required in the last two chapters, and with that we wind up the syllabus. But now, Today, again, reiterating, we have learned about strategic human resource consulting, where human resources consultancy firms have begun to use strategic human resources, management and development programs and processes in, you know, rendering their best to their corporate clients. Now, as I said earlier in the other slides, I mean, they deal with a number of things. They help the organization in structuring their employees, uh, structuring the employee, uh, you know, matrix or they help in uh, you know compliance procedures contracts policy documentations that sometimes would also uh, provide a performance management framework they help in organization structure design and uh, you know they also might devise uh, you know competency framework help in you know remuneration and benefits review and so on next is again apart from that of course they would help in uh, you know uh, you know the work culture process. You know, you know, uh, you know, to uh, bring a healthy work culture within the organization, they would devise schemes, policies for that. So, next would be how how you you know have built a healthy work culture by said giving them the right training, uh, telling them the importance of you know peaceful uh, working together towards achieving goals. It's like work as a we and not I. And you know, work as a team, be a leader. And I would suggest that have leadership training programs, not just for the actual leaders of the organization, that is the top level management, or even the managers, but also to the lowest level to you know to make them understand the role that they play each one, because it cannot be denied that every person is an organ in an organization is an important tool that that if well used. And if it is sharpened to the extent of competency, it would certainly go, you know, miles ahead, uh, in, and it will certainly, you know, help in achieving even long-term organization goals, and even to achieve uh, and to work towards a vision that the company has. Of course, again, uh, you know, again, again, another goal would be, uh, you know, uh, having, uh, you know, uh, in the recruitment processes, adopt strategies. And uh, you know, again, would be monitoring and uh, evaluation of employees, and give us you know continuous ongoing support, review certain long term initiatives. You see, so these are some of the things that you know an HR consultancy firm would do. Sometimes they would render ad hoc advice, and you know they would even give coaching support. They would also ask you know solicit employee surveys, like for quarterly reporting to the uh, to the management, and so on. So. And, uh, you know, they would um, normally they would also deal with performance management and, you know, uh, training and so on to boost the, 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 you know, the capabilities, the capability of the employees boosting or enhancing the capability of employees also is an important thing to be done. That's how you call it HR strategic human resources, uh, you know, a strategic human resource process where you enhance the skill of the employees towards you know, sustaining in the market, 
so that whatever may be the pressures you sustain in the market, you help the organization to sustain in the market and create a branding in the market because the employees are the face of the organization. So train them that you are the face of the organization. Now, the employees are the ones who create a branding also in the market for the company. Also, you cannot, it cannot be denied that they are actually tools in the in the the you know the 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 mechanics of a company they are actually the tools in the in the in the in the entire process in in, in an organization they are actually tools the tools well used will of course will yield good results so so th this is all what it is and um, the challenges again i told you about the challenges that of course, you know, one of the challenge, of course, is uh, apart from the COVID part of it, how the work from home process that was how you know that was one of the challenges, uh, the, the most recent challenge that was quite palpable and quite evident, in fact, uh, across the globe. But uh, of course, keeping pace with technological developments because it keeps changing. And uh, today, obliterating bureaucratic environment within a structure, training of employees. So these are some of the challenges that they have. It is intertwined or, you know, kind of mixed with, intertwined with prospects. So if you meet the challenges, then you have the prospects. So this is the prospects. The prospect is, of course, you obliterate a, bu a bureaucratic environment. You bring a good structure within the organization. A, a, you create a healthy atmosphere within the organization where there is accountability of each and every employee of the organization. And they are, they are basically trained saying that you are accountable for everything you do, you are important, you are the person or you are the people who contribute to the success of the organization. If you know such kind of uh, uh, training is given to them and such kind of, uh, you know, you know, you, you boost their morale. On the other hand, you enhance their skills, you enhance their knowledge towards the future, uh, you know, what the, the, what the company sees in the future that is coming. So it's, any future uh, you know, plans that the company has that it wants to invest in a particular project. Uh, you know, it is uh, you know, strategic human resource uh, process of management and development is also about, you know, it is future oriented where you equip the employees today to meet the challenges of the future. It could be challenges and it could be naturally you get a new assignment in the future. You, you, you uh, sometimes think that, okay, in the future, such and such a project is going to come in the world or in a particular country. So, okay, we can be a part, this organization can be a part of that project, for example. So if you can be a part of the process, you train the employees today so that when the project is out, you know, so then these employees are already ready. So that is strategic human resources. Uh, you know, uh, it's, it's a part of the process that you equip your employees today to meet the challenges even of the future. So equipping today, for the future is also one of the challenges, right? So, so this is one of it. Then again, refining employee life cycle. They see that you they do not leave your organization. Manage them artistically. That's an art. Managing people is an art to be mastered. Train them and enable organizational learning. You know, and as uh, Peter says. Uh, you know, in his, uh, in his, he's an HR expert, and as he says, learning organization must clinch the following five principles, systems thinking, uh, you know, person mastery, mental models, uh, building shared vision, team learning, and so on. Team learning also is an essential factor where you, you teach the employee to admit that you learn from one another and ditch the know-it-all attitude. I repeat it, ditch the know it all attitude. But, you know, inculcate the values of organizational learning and say that you learn from one another. You are contributing to one another. You learn from one another and so on. So, well, so this is it. If you have any questions, you can ask me. Yeah, you can ask me if you have any questions. Okay, before I forget, now for your exam, the question paper pattern is like you would have a 20 marks question. You will have to answer one 20 marks question. Okay. And uh, you will have a choice there. Again, you will have short notes for five marks. Again, you will have short, you'll have uh, you know choice there. And I'll also upload your question paper pattern as well in your Google Classroom. 
And of course, you know, the topics go by whatever uh, notes I have given you, go by the lectures, the recordings that are there because they have, uh, you know, as soon as the class gets over, I make it a habit like, you know, to uh, to upload the recordings for, for your benefit in Google Classroom or sometimes I just give you a link like where you can find it and so on. In case I'm unable to, uh, you know, for whatever reason, for technical reason and uh, God knows whatever that, you know, it's, uh, it's not accommodating because I think that uh, you know, the platform is full. Uh, so whatever, so I give you a link. So, you know, go there and you check the, the recording and uh, see the explanation there. And anytime you want something from me, you need any ex additional explanation, I'm always there. And you can get in touch with me. You know how to get in touch with me. You got email, you got my number and so on. Next is assignments. Assignments, uh, I'm sure you have already submitted by now. So you have to submit it via Google Classroom because that is a record for us. And uh, I mean, it will be evaluated there. And once it's evaluated, of course, you can uh, you know see the marks. I, I will release it there. So that's it from my side. Anything else if you want to ask me? Attendance carries marks. And again, request Deborah if you can just give me the attendance uh, group, the WhatsApp group, please. She's there. Oh, Deborah is not there. Uh, Hey, thank you. I have a question near me, please. Okay. Uh, just before that, so who can give me the? Uh, just to, hold on a moment, please. Who can give me the attendance? Uh, just send me on the group, uh, in, uh, including Deborah, of course. Uh, just give me the attendance in the group, okay? I will request. Uh, okay, Abdul Razak Ali, please give me the attendance and send it soon after this class in the group. Yeah, tell me, Abdul Razak. I hope that can you hear me. Okay. Uh, can you hear me, please? I'm sorry, uh, could you just uh, repeat it? Can you hear me, please? Yes, yes, I can hear you. Go ahead. Uh, thank you. I want to uh, ask you a question. Uh, you have sent us uh, two assignments. Uh, the first assignment I have already uh, submitted. Okay. Uh, so that uh, when will you respond or will mark the results? Uh, shortly. We'll do it shortly. I'm okay. planning to do it before your exams, of course. Okay. Uh, at what time shall we set the final assignment? The final exam? Yeah, you want to know the tentative date for your final exam. So that is normally. Of course. Yeah. So that is normally, uh, you know, the date is assigned by the university. You can get in touch with the exams department or any of your lecturer there at the university and ask them for, uh, you know, even the academics director there and ask uh, her for the tentative date. You, you might just, uh, you know, seek their advice on this. Okay, okay, okay thank you, thank you. Thank you for your time and your answer. Yeah, you're welcome always. And I believe that uh, I have simplified the subject for you. Um, that's what okay. I believe. So if you go through the notes that I've given you, it's uh, just not uh, taken from the textbooks and just, you know, it's it's actually out of practical experience that I've made those notes. And it's also from some of my write ups that I've incorporated those points. Go by those points, study them, and I'm sure you will do well. And of course, attendance carries marks, and those of you who are regularly attending, so, you know. Uh, you will be grabbing marks there as well, apart from assignments. Okay, okay, thank you. Is there any remaining assignments? Or, or there is uh, already any? Uh, I would give you even today's day chance. You can go ahead for, you can just inform the other students. You can even go ahead and, uh, you know, uh, I'll give you, give you even some more time, even for the first assignment, if you haven't done it. Since before you have sent us two assignments, assignment one, assignment two, is there any remaining assignments? That's no, my question. No. no. If you go to your course description, you see, okay. we have strategized the subject. Uh, always, okay, yeah, uh, always, if it is my class, I strategize my lectures and my teaching. I always give you a course description. In the course description, now it's this, this is the last class, but now I wish you could ask me this in the first class. And even in the first class, I remember I spoke about course description. I put it in the group. Okay. Yeah, courses. So in the course description, 
approximately what are the units that would be covered what is the, uh, the, the the approximate tentative plan all that is there your timings are there your assignments are there assignments are also there in the course description assignment one assignment two, that's it. your evaluation uh program the evaluation module is also there how you're you're going to be evaluated for the exam it's already there okay. in your course description 100 marks total overall okay. so how much is allocated for attendance i wanted to go through the course description how much is uh, allocated for uh, you know uh, attendance uh, you know how much is allocated for internals that is your um assignment one how much is allocated for assignment two and you know uh, how much is allocated for your exam okay thank you for your answer and question yeah you're welcome always and uh, if that's it so anytime if you want any clarification you can get in touch with me you can accentuate your answers and the notes that is already given to you you can just go online and check for some more material and go through the recording class recording it's a must now before we go i mean we wind up with the class what are the important questions okay. for your exam okay important questions work culture now the aim of uh, you know this class for me is to equip you to work in an organization so whenever i teach my students it is not just theory based and it's not that just i teach okay it's this 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 but i want you to know practically how it is going to be so the important questions for the exam will be based on the lectures that have been given to, uh, have been rendered to you all these days. So the important questions will be, of course, on work culture. That's an important question because you will be part of an organization and you know you should know what it is. Work culture. I'll ask you questions on HR strategy models. HR strategy. Work culture is a must. Maybe there could be a short note on HR consulting, the role of HR consulting. There's a number of it. See, some of it I've just given you in the, in the lecture form. Some of it will be in the, in the notes that I give you. So if you go to the lecture and you check your notes, you could point out the things which are not there in the notes. You can, if whatever you have taken, I don't know, I believe that you have taken lecture notes. So if you have taken lecture notes, then you should incorporate whatever we discussed now in the in the in the in that particular uh, you know uh, whatever that that particular uh, chapter. So this is how it is. So again, I'm reiterating: work culture is an important question. HR strategy, uh, uh, HR strategy models is an important question. Then a short note could come on HR consulting, and um, yeah, these are some of the important questions. And I cannot tell you everything, right? So this is something very important. So a question will come, will come on these things. Okay. So that's about it. And uh, all the best, answer well. And let me know if you need something. This is the last class. And if you know something, of course, you can just uh, let me know, send me an email or a message or, uh, you know. Okay, 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 uh, shall we have uh, the next fellow when we is the uh, glass or this will be the last glass? This is the last class, we have finished the syllabus. Okay, okay, thank you, thank you. If you need a class, well, we can have a class, the syllabus is completed. Okay, thank you. Because what I have done is um, this particular subject. I've already delivered to you in a very simple form. So, yeah. And it's very yeah. easy. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. You just spend some time uh, going through the recording. It's like a revision for you. So uh, I, this is not a tough uh, subject and it's not, not really you know, a, you know, a tough class as well. So I, I, the, the content also is not quite tough. It's something which is practical and uh, you are from the human resources background. So you already know most of it. It is just that you are adopting, you know, you are learning a bit of strategic management, the, the union of strategic management and human resources management and development. That's it. Thank you, TJ. I pass it. Okay. Welcome. Welcome. But feel free to ask me if you have any doubts anytime. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, Abhinav, could you just help me, please? Could you just give me the attendance uh, and send it to yes, me? I have, uh, I have uh, shared you uh, what's up, uh, uh, telephone. Please look at. Okay. Okay. I'll check my phone later. I'll check my phone yes, after the uh, class immediately. Uh, yeah, good, please. Yeah, sure. I'll do that. And uh, thank you so much for that. God bless you. And uh, God bless you all. And uh, bye bye. That's all for today and for this class, of course. And for the subject. Okay. Bye. Remember the important questions I told you, huh? For your exams. That's very important. So if you don't have to know, you will do very well. Okay? Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.